Hi, I'm Tommy Fiore, and this is called Ask Me Anything. Why won't you reply to my Insta DMs, you pussy? So actually, I've screenshot them all, because the one thing that I can take from all this is nervousness. And the last time I had someone like this, apart from Jake Paul, was Anthony Taylor. And he was bricking it, right before it. And the fact that this man keeps on about it, and on about it, and on about it, it shows how nervous he is. Very, very scared. He's preaching how he's ready for the fight and how he can't, look, can't wait to get in the ring. But silence is golden. I'm not interested in any games back and forth. I've got a job to do on Saturday night and that's to knock him out cold. I'm not interested in playing games on social media because guess what? When I get you in the ring, Twitter won't be able to help you then. So you, you have seen the messages? I've seen them. Screenshot it saved yeah. in the bank. Yeah. And it's going to be funny because when he gets knocked out, all this... It'll just add to what I'm saying. Because we've been in the fight game a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had this sort of thing with Tyson and stuff like that. There's a lot of uh, signals that that's giving. So, silence is golden, mate. What's your plans after fighting KSI? Um, my plans after fighting KSI is probably... I'm going to eat a good bit of food. I'm going to eat whatever I want. Domino's pizzas, burgers, milkshakes, whatever you want. Gain a little bit of weight. Matt Gonaldi. I go to Disneyland with a baby again and um, just chill out with the family and see what's next. In boxing terms, I don't know. I don't know. This uh, crossover scene it is like um, a bit of a circus, so you never really know what's around the corner. So I'm going to have some time off with the family. And then, uh, you know, in a few months' time, we'll get around the table again and we'll see what's the best option to take. Is this the toughest test of your career? Genuinely, no. I would say, honestly, and I'm not just saying it because these two have got things going on together, but I'd say Jake Paul was a much harder fight. I would say Jake Paul's um, definitely more of a boxer. You know, he does he tries when he's in there. Someone like KSI, you know, he doesn't think it because he's been fighting tomato cans, he's been falling over, but when he gets someone in there who's hitting back, you'll soon realise that he is just a white-collar boxer. Well, he's not even that, he's, he's worse than that. Jake Paul was actually trying to try. He had proper people around him, you know, and pretty sure it was fine with Shane Mosley, um, all these different world champions. So I think that was the toughest test so far. But I think KSI, uh, listen, I'm not underestimating him. You can tell by the shape I'm in, by the, by the training that I've done. I'm very locked in on him and I'm looking to do a job Saturday night. Who do you have respect for the, for the most out of the influencer boxing scene besides Jake Paul? I respect any man who gets in the ring. I'm not disputing that. It takes a man to get inside the ring, so I have respect for them all in that sense. But actual respect from me as a man, no one. I don't really know that many people. In the crossover boxing scene, I only know the Paul brothers and KSI. That's it. I don't know anybody else. Uh, I'm not interested in anybody else. I'm only interested in the people that I'm fighting. And the crossover boxing scene is what it is. It's, I don't know it is what it is. But respect to them all for getting in the ring. What has been the toughest part of this camp? The toughest part of the camp is always, you know, now I've got a baby. Um, that's been the toughest time, having the time away from them, you know, which has been 10 weeks. It's been tough not seeing them. Um, you know, but these are the sacrifices you've got to make. You know, you've got to leave everything behind and you've got a job to do. You've got to go out there and train hard and do the best you can. And it's all for a reason. And at the end of the day, the only time I'll be out of their lives is when I'm in a training camp or dead. Sorry to end on a sour note. Well, that's definitely been the hardest part. Why did you take this fight? So, obviously, beating Jake Paul, this fight was just inevitable. You know, we did look for the rematch there, but at that given time, he didn't want it. So that's why we decided to move on. And this fight here just made sense, you know, because them two were going to fight anyway. So now I've beat him, I've beat KSI, and then them two can still fight because they're both on the same level. You know, they both lost to me, so they both can still fight. You know, in their case, not one's better than the other, so... Um, this fight, you know, why am I in crossover boxing? Financially, it's great. I'm not going to beat around the bush, we all know that. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. So that's the reason. Is Deji better than KSI? I would say he is. I would say Deji is better than KSI. I actually seen Deji's last fight when I was there ringside um, and he looked like he'd improved a lot. I, see, I was on the card when he boxed Mayweather and from there to now, he's made lots of improvements, so I would say he's a, he's a better boxer, yeah. Don't mind, Edgy, he's a good lad. If you win, will you be cool with KSI? Perhaps you two can make another Prime promotion and call it Prime 2.0 or something like that, lol. Uh, after I beat KSI, he'll be pushed to the back of my mind. Like, I'm not interested, I'm not investing in KSI one little bit. 
he's just a guy that I'm boxing that I'm going to knock out. And after that, do I want to be his friend? No. Do I want to go into business with him? No. Just want to crack on my own career, my own thing that I'm doing now. So uh, I'll tilt me up to him and leave him in the past. What's your favourite horror movie? Right. Now, I'm sure it's got to be on the internet. It has to be. I've said it that many times. My favourite horror movie is Halloween 1978. Jamie Lee Curtis. Unbelievable. If you haven't seen it, give it a try. Will you be nervous when you enter the ring? Um, to be honest with you, I can't see it because fighting Jake Paul, there was not one bit of nerve there because I knew what I had to do. I prepared right. And it's the same for this. I prepared right. You know, maybe if I'd not done a camp, maybe if I'd trained for a little bit here and there, not done it properly or not taken it seriously or not followed my diet, maybe there's stuff to be nervous about then. But when you've done everything in your possible you know, own self that you could have done. I've prepared right, I've ate right, I've drank right, slept right, the weight's bang on, everything's perfect, then there's no need to be nervous. It's an excitement job. If you're not excited, walk into that ring, you shouldn't be doing it. And I thrive on this, you know, every single professional boxer is dreams like the nights I've got ahead of me on Saturday. So I'm looking forward to it, I'm excited more than anything. What is your dream fight? My dream fight? My dream fight that's realistic will probably be against Mayweather. I see he's doing these exhibitions and realistically, out of something that could happen, to share the ring with Mayweather, even an exhibition, to share with to share the ring with one of the best to ever do it, you know, it's it, it, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. So uh, I definitely welcome that with open arms. Is a fight with Logan Paul on the table for you? I mean, at the end of the day, these guys, you know, they're all the same to me. You know, I don't value one higher than the other. I'm not really interested. You know, when I beat KSI, Will he be on the table? I'm pretty sure he will. Will I take it? Yeah, pretty sure I will. So uh, at the end of the day, I'm not looking, to, not looking to that. Not looking at any other man except for KSI. So I want to get through him on Saturday, then we'll talk about other opponents. What's next for Tommy after he's done fighting YouTubers? When does he hope to fight for his first belt? So after I'm done with his YouTuber boxing, um, whenever that's done, I will fight for a world title. You know, I'm, I, I wouldn't be prepared to leave boxing not having tested myself. And I believe there's a lot worse people out there that's won a world title belt than me. And I do believe the right fight at the right time, I'll come out victorious and that's what I intend to do. How many more fights till you challenge for a title of some sort? Like I say, my plan is to do these YouTube fights and I'm going to throw myself in at the deepest end you can possibly be in. And I'll fight for a world title. What weight, where, when, who? So all, all questions that, that will be answered. I'm Tommy Fury. Thanks for sending me your questions and I'll see you all Saturday live on The Zone pay-per-view.